at Excel GC Mathematics Advanced Level C2. Find the roots of the function f of x equals x cubed minus 7x plus 6. So first of all I'm going to write that down as a function f of x equals x cubed minus 7x plus 6. Before I go on to um, substitute values of x into this to find out uh, what the factors are, it's important to have a look at the final integer, 6. It's useful to find all the factors of 6, and I've written them down over here. The factors of 6 are plus or minus 1, 2, 3, and 6. The reason for this is because you only have to choose these values uh, for your value of x. Uh, there can be no other possible values that will give 6 as the final integer. So we'll start then with f of 1. Now, let's do a quick reminder before we do this. The factor theorem says f of a is equal to 0 if and only if x minus a is a factor of the polynomial f of x. Well, we've chosen for our value of a 1. And if 1 gives us an answer 0, then x minus 1 will be a factor. So let's just see how we get on with f of 1. 1 replaces x, so 1 cubed is 1. Minus 7 multiplied by 1 is minus 7 plus 6. And that does indeed give the answer 0. Therefore, we can say the a root a possible root of x is 1, which gives us a factor of x minus 1 from the factor theorem. Remember, we said f of a, a is 1, therefore x minus 1, because a is 1, is going to be the factor. So now we'll try f of, uh, well, let's try f of 2. We've tried f of 1, and that is now going to give us uh, 2 cubed is 8 minus 2 times 7 which is 14 plus 6 and again that gives the answer 0 so we can therefore say that 2 is a root and therefore the factor from that root would be x minus 2. Now if we multiply these two factors we're going to get a quadratic which in itself would uh, be a divisor of x cubed minus 7x plus 6. So, but if we multiplied x minus 1 by x minus 2, the final integer would be minus 1 times minus 2 plus 2. Well, we've now got to find a factor which will give us a number that will multiply minus 1 times minus 2 by our new number to make 6. As we've just said, minus 1 times minus 2 is plus 2. So the only possible answer for this would be plus 3. Minus 1 times minus 2 is 2. 2 times plus 3 is 6. Um, so this has got to be plus 3. So therefore, there's no possible point in writing f of 3 because that would give us x minus 3. But what we can try is f of minus 3. Now, minus 3 or cubed is minus 27. Minus 7 times minus 3 is plus 21. And then the final constant at 6. And if you look, this equals 0 again. So the root would be minus 3, which would give us the factor x plus 3. And again, it was important that we understood this so that we didn't have to spend too much time with trial and improvement methods trying to find uh, values of a that would give us an answer zero. Um, so we found the roots and we also found the factors of the function x cubed minus 7x plus 6 but we need to write the answer so uh, the question said find the roots so roots of x cubed minus 7x plus 6 are uh, 1, 
2 and minus 3. 